You're listening to Extinction Radio FM. Listen to the podcast at extinctionradio.com. As we wake up to near-term extinction and the dire situation on our planet, um, it's very easy to become depressed, and people go through all kinds of emotions when they really let it sink in. Um, some people talk about the five stages of grief, not in any particular order. Um, but one of the things that can come up for us, you know, when we realize what this really means is, well, you know, if this is how it is, uh, what's the point of being here? And, uh, you know, I might as well just leave the planet. It really doesn't make any difference. And some people, you know, sort of feel uh, that, like they need to go in that direction. And so, you know, I'm arguing for the opposite, which is to live a life of peace, passion, and purpose. Because the near-term extinction reality is a wake-up call. It's really asking us to live that way with peace, passion, and purpose. It's asking us not to check out. Um, it's asking us to live in the present. And I can't think of anything that's more challenging than knowing what's going on in the future and living in the present. And living in the present could mean that we sort of take a break from the news once in a while um, and that we balance our lives with, you know, not only the, informa not only the information and reality of near-term that we take time to play to have fun, to celebrate, uh, to fall back in love with nature. I sometimes talk about earth eroticism um, and, and just, uh, you know, create this balance in which we're not so steeped in the future. Um, the future is going to do what it's going to do. And who knows if we're going to survive physically? Who knows what the end result is going to be? Um, but we need to live with compassion for other people, find service right now. It's so important to be in some kind of service and to enjoy the hell out of life. You know, that's what we're here for. And, um, and, and maybe, you know, as a result of what we know about NTE, maybe our lives can be even more meaningful, more passionate, more peaceful, um, and, and really have more purpose as a result. How do you enjoy the hell out of life yourself, Carolyn? Well, I love to go out in nature and uh, and have conversations with the trees, you know, and conversations with the birds. Um, I play with my dog. Um, I, I, I have fun with my friends. Um, I just did a, a workshop last weekend, a grief workshop in Rhode Island here in the U.S., uh, was three days of very intense grief work. And that grief work always ends, almost without exception, with a time of celebration and joy. So, you know, in times like that, I just let loose. I just relax and play with my friends. And sometimes we have forgotten, many of us have really forgotten how to play and let down and have a good time. Accepting 